Hello everybody, this is Bill McFadden from Tone Pure Music. And in this video, we'll take a look at the Neapolitan chord. It's actually in the realm of uh, chromatic harmony. And it's a uh, major triad. So the Neapolitan chord is a major triad and it's built on the lowered second scale. So for example, if we take the C minor scale, There's your second, so the lowered second would be D flat and it's major because the Neapolitan chord is always a major chord. And it's often most found in the first inversion. So here's the root position. So if we look at the first inversion, that's usually where it will be found. And it's also usually in the minor mode. That's why I started off with the C minor scale. So normally in the C minor scale, we have the first chord. The second chord is diminished. Then we have the third chord and the fourth chord. The fifth chord is actually B natural, not B flat, because that's the way it was done in the uh, classical era. And then the sixth chord and the seventh, again, you have the B natural instead of the B flat. So we see normally we would go from the, in the minor scale, we'd go from the one to the two to the five back to the one. That would be one chord progression. So if you use the Neapolitan, it becomes one. And then the Neapolitan and then the five chord, the five seven chord, and back to the one. So you have a different sound. So if I do that with some bass notes, we have. And then with the Neapolitan, we have. So it just gives you that different sound which is probably a little more sedate than using the two diminished, replacing the two diminished by the, the Neapolitan, the, the second note of the scale flatted. So an interesting example from Beethoven, where he actually uses it, is in the Moonlight Sonata of all places, very commonly known melody. So. Let's take a look at it. We have a C sharp minor chord in the beginning. Here would be root position for C minor. So it's actually second inversion he's starting with. Just arpeggiating it. Then there's a passing tone in the bass. Then the A chord. And here comes the Neapolitan. Then back to the C minor chord. Actually, it's actually it's an A flat seven here. Then an A flat sus. And here we have the A flat seven again. So again, let's go from the beginning. We have, first of all, let's take a look at the scale. We have C sharp, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, and then C sharp. So here's your tonic chord. And so the second, would be right here at D sharp. So if we lower that half and make it a major chord, we have a D major chord. So that's actually the Neapolitan 
in the C sharp minor scale. So starting from the beginning, we have C minor, still C minor with a B in the bass, and then we have the A chord, which is actually the sixth of the C minor scale. our Neapolitan, Neapolitan, which is a D chord, and your, here's your second inversion. And then back to the C minor, or actually... A flat major, which would be right... C minor, there's your A sus, and there's your A flat 7. But the main thing is uh, in measure 3, we're at the, we go from the A chord. Neapolitan. So that basically is just a, a look into the Neapolitan chord and how it was used by Beethoven, what the chord is, the mode that it's usually used in the minor scale. So Bill McFadden signing off from Tone Pure Music.